M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Repeater list downloads for ICOM radios. Today we've got the 52, but it could be the 705, the 9700, the 51, the 50, the 4100, the 5100. They're all going to use the same system. Now, ICOM do make or do provide a repeater list. I'm going to show you that in a second. Normally we come here to DStart Info. There's a lot of downloads here, many different types, but the one today is the repeater list download. So if you go to this tab here and go to repeater list downloads for DR mode, you get to this page and they are telling us that there's a problem just typing in locations. If you put in say Bristol up here, enter, put your, select your radio at 52 today. There you go, 52E for Europe. Look up, probably get an error. Yeah, you go back one. Make sure you delete the city and put in some grid squares. Now, to look up your location, do you know what I use? I actually use an ICOM app called the ST4002A. Now, this ICOM app actually provides GPS to your ICOM 52 when you connect a USB cable from your smartphone to the radio and you do have to select you know, and tell it to use this it actually gives you your location but the other very handy thing is when you open it on your phone it gives you your location so that's pretty cool even if you're not going to use it with the icon radio so i use that a lot uh, going back to the downloads so i'm just going to put a random one in here anyway so we go 52 and two for now and then We've got that, look up location, and look, it's found it, and now we can download a file. There's a file gone up there, and it's a CSV file. If we go over to the download section, I'll put a link in the description here. It says repeater list. So we'll go to firmware and list, and it takes you to this page here firmware list, and there it is there, repeater list, and it's there at the top in a in a CSV file, sorry, in a file. Look, you've got a couple there, Europe. So we've got lots of repeater lists to play with. So now let's show you another really handy tip on the 52. If you can see my radio, I'll just make it a bit bigger. I've got the USB cable plugged into the side of it. And remember, 705 will do this as well and other radios. At the moment, it actually says connected in, um, with the PC. Now, how did I make it do that? Because it's actually reading the SD card in my radio without having to take the SD card out. And you can just take it out and put it in your PC. You might think that's easier, but I find that really fiddly. So how do we get it into the mode where it will let us read the SD card with a USB cable plugged to our PC? And I am using a USB-C adapter just here. Uh, so Because I've, I've got all USB-Cs here, so I bought myself a little adapter. It was like one pound. So anyway, I'm going to show you, you go menu, probably have to disconnect first, which I'll do now. Disconnect, go to menu, then across to set, so you've got set here, then up and down, but you will go to function, and when you get to USB connect, so you're going up and down, USB connect, You've got three choices. One obviously is charge only. You've got serial port, which will come in handy for some functions. But then you've got SD card mode. So once you've got that and you've selected it, you can back out. And when you plug in the cable now, in the normal way, which we've just done, it gives you the option to select. So just go yes. And we're now in SD card mode. Now many scanners do this as well. So pretty handy and look the SD card has now shown up so it's talking directly to the SD card you know we've got that repeater list downloaded so go back to that download click it and double click it again move over here so you can see it and just we're just going to choose one okay and the ICF file pretty sure that's a whole file for importing and exporting, but we're not doing that. We're just going to move the repeater list in. So back to, we were looking at the download. Don't 
double click and we're just gonna leave up there a minute double click on the left and here you've got all your different settings files quite handy really GPS opening photograph because I've got one in I have got one in there though I haven't saved it to the SD card pictures you can load pictures the main one we're looking at is settings okay there's the ICF file we've got that's your complete setting so you could use their one but I'm not going to use that I'm going to go to where is it CSV at the top let's go back once I you see that CSV now of course for your SD card to have anything on it you have to have put it in your icon 52 formatted it and then saved should I show you that first let me just quickly show you that so take out this go menu set SD card save settings and then you can save to an existing name or a new one okay and you can change name if you want just by in the normal way and go save so we have saved but if you've never ever used your 52 with an SD card, say it's, if it's a blank SD card I recommend you put it in your PC first format it then put it in this 52 and format it or 705 so go back down to SD card gives you information go menu set SD card keep going down look you've got the option here to format see that I don't really want to format it so I'm going to say no but if you said yes then once you formatted it it will be ready for your PC for use then it will have all the files that you're seeing I just plugged it back in now SD card mode it will have all the files that you're now seeing on the left hand side here there you are all the they just all get created when you format it and save to it as well which you saw me do go back to CSV and we're going to go to repeater list which is blank and we're going to grab one of these repeater lists and we're going to drag it in and drop it into our 52 okay so now let's see if we can load that repeater list so we're going to completely unplug the radio getting phone calls here at the moment So now we're going to go to menu, set, find our SD card, go up and down until we find our SD card, import, export, go up and down, to do the toggle, import, and this time we're just going to do, yeah, select import first, and then up and down, but we're going to do repeater list, now you can import other files in the same way, okay, uh, repeater list, and look, there it is there. 52 euro that's the one on the icon side enter I actually did try and import the one from Kenwood d74 but that didn't work so skip settings I'm just gonna put no import yes Ta -da! we now have the latest repeater list telling me to reboot so I'll just turn it on and off Now, hopefully I haven't lost all my original settings as well. But if I have, I'm going to have to add a new my hotspot. If we hold down DR mode, have a quick look, and there's all our repeater list. If we push the bottom one, go down to the bottom, near repeater, they are, it needs GPS, but it has found them, look, look. All my near repeaters. Pretty cool there. And we could start, you know, talking to them probably the one that's active if I go near repeater again this is all you can search either FM analog DV or both there's one in Cardiff that tends to be active so if I press go down to reflector look and go to use reflector I'm ready to use the Cardiff one now M0 FXB test test I might get it not too far from me no nope. So that's that's definitely worked. Now, if you wanted to add your hotspot, you have to come out of DR mode, hold down, menu, go across to the right. And it's a bit hidden. You've got these all these nice grids with scopes and things, but you need to go across 
to a new page and that's memory and, this, and when you're not in DR mode you can change this memory so if you go down to repeat a list you can now start to add, now I haven't done this for ages but f you just find one that you're going to remember so I would go to UK or you can add a new one I'll go to UK select it I'm just remembering now press the quick button and click add and then now you can start adding a you know your hotspot so the top says type I'll just leave that name give it a name so we don't want to be here all day so we just give it H but it could be hotspot yeah enter the sub name doesn't really matter if you ask me call sign really does matter and remember D you know, these radios won't work on D-Star without a call sign, so M, zero, just turning it backwards, so I'm trying to do this one-handed, across to the right, F, and X, long-winded, X, B, try and type that in Morse code, it's really long. Then go keep going across, keep pushing to the right, press enter, as you know, and then actually choose a letter. It's normally, I'm pretty sure it's normally B, isn't it? But we'll choose a different one because it won't let you double up. So we're going to put in, I don't know, Q probably. Yeah, Q, just so it doesn't double up. Enter. So we've got our course on end. The next one is automatically selected as gateway. That's perfect for hotspots. You could at this point change what group it is, but remember we chose UK. Remember that so you can find it. Use from, I always put yes. Frequency of your hotspot, press enter. Quite annoying, but four. My one is three. Three for D star. Five. Five, zero. Enter. Duplex, plus or minus, you do need that, even if it's naught. So choose either. Obviously, if you're doing a repeater, then you're going to have different frequencies. But with hotspots, you, you have a shift, but it's zero. That's the funny thing. And that's because the whole D-Star system is, was designed for repeaters. So we've got offset here. Press it and just turn to the left until it zeroes it off. And then you, you could add location, we'll do that another time. Add right, yes. And that's gone in there. So we've now got H. We select H. That's our hotspot, okay? So we'll go back. We'll hold down DR mode. We're back in DR mode. We'll go to the bottom one. We're going to select the bottom one. We want to find that. How do we find that? We can just go to repeat a list and go to UK, and then we're looking for H. Hopefully it's there somewhere. Is it in alphabetical order? Let's go up. I'm gonna be here all day trying to find it now. There it is there, H. Okay, that's my hotspot. And to use it, just go up one. Press use reflector. Oh, let's go back one again. Highlight the top. Press enter. Then reflector. Go down one, link to reflector. These are the ones I've used in the past. So you, if it's the first time, you're going to want to go direct input, enter. You've got reflectors, XLX, XRF, DCS, but you want reflector. And we've got 01 Charlie, we can change that. And the CL is for linking, so you just press enter. And when you key the mic now, it will actually link. Now what you've got to remember with these hotspots and repeaters that you have to be in range of an active working hotspot or a repeater that's near enough for you to open up when you key the microphone to receive the signal from the radio. If it's 100 miles away, it's not gonna work. The radio isn't currently right now internet linked to anything. So it's re relying completely on RF, you know, your radio to link. So I just grab my hotspot. If you look at configuration, you'll see that the, it's PiStar Raspberry to log in you'll see that the frequency is 433550 and that's that's you know that's the frequency you need to put into your radio scroll down it says a reflector 30 
you can choose that's a sort of startup reflector but you can change it so we'll do that now we'll go dashboard and the way you talk to your hotspot is it's using an IP address so it's all using either Ethernet or Wi-Fi to do this so let's just key the mic and see if it will link a minute M0 FXB test test M0 FXB test it might not do it because I changed the letter remember I changed the letter from a a B to a H and that's I think that's why it's not linking but that's the way it works uh, so I think that's enough for now get you going I know it can be daunting with DR mode but it's like anything the more you use it the more familiar you become and it's taken me years to sit here and be able to just scroll through the different functions comfortably and you've got to really just keep at it don't give up and then one day just like playing a, a musical instrument but a very basic one you just get it same goes for DMR Fusion's the easiest one but DMR D star there's a bit of learning you can just go back into memory mode come out of DR hold down the bottom one like so hit VFO which is the top right one and just change the frequency you can't just turn the knob press the VFO here to change the amount and 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 you can save things to memory. I think it's hold down this button here, hold down the MR to save ETC. You can do it the simple way if you want. Go menu, turn on your, go back, turn on your band scope. There's your band scope, go menu, send photographs, GPS lock. You haven't got one at the moment. Get yourself a little GPS booster, they work great. It is a fantastic, amazing radio and very, very well priced if you think about other radios that are being released recently. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Hope this helps you with your 52. I know I've had the 52. I've made lots of videos on the 52. But, um, you know, it's 2024 and I just thought I'd show you the new repeater list. And download that app as well. Don't forget that app. ST4002. Works great. Link it to your Icon 5100. It actually works and gives you GPS. 7-3, all the best.